Hey everybody, welcome back to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel. In today's really fun video, I'm going to show you how to make a white chocolate eggnog ganache. For my recipe today, we're going to need 60 grams of eggnog, 100 grams of white chocolate, 20 grams of confectioner sugar, and our last ingredient, a few pinches of nutmeg. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. And a recipe note, confectioner sugar is also called powdered sugar or icing sugar. Three different names, but it's all exactly the same sugar. For my first step, I'm just gonna start cutting up all of my white chocolate. And then I'll get it all into a heat proof glass bowl. I have transferred my eggnog to a heat proof bowl and I have microwaved this until it started boiling. And now I'm just gonna get all of that on there. And that eggnog is gonna slowly start melting all of that nice white chocolate. So at this point, you don't wanna stir. Just let the chocolate and the eggnog slowly start, you know, getting to know one another. I just like to let that sit there for about three minutes before I start stirring. So that's what we'll do and then I'll come back. So this is about three minutes later. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a stir. Now, since I don't have a lot of ganache here, I am gonna put this on a double boiler just to impart a little bit more heat in this because I do need to add in a little bit of powdered sugar. And that is optional, but I do like to add it in. Just gives a little bit more sweetness to our ganache. So let's get a little bit of heat into this and then add in our last ingredients. So I have a little bit of hot water here. I just started this boiling and now I've turned it off. That just gives enough heat. I'm gonna get my bowl on top. And then I can just start giving it a little bit of a stir. So the heat from the water creates steam and that's gonna gently heat the bottom of our bowl. I can already feel that that's really helping. So we wanna get all of this nicely incorporated. That's good. And then I'm gonna get in our little bit of nutmeg. Give that a little bit of a stir. The nutmeg is optional, but I find it really does help. And also, if you don't want to add any sugar, you don't have to. Just get that in. And then we'll give that a little bit of a stir. Let's just bring this on camera. Right there. So if you're not gonna add in the sugar, then there's no reason to add a little bit of extra heat. You can just mix everything together and you should be fine. And then I just wanna mix this really well so that everything is incorporated. So this is about 15 seconds of vigorous whisking and that looks really nice now. And you're looking at this mixture and you're saying, that does not look firm. Well, that's because this is very warm. Once we let this cool down and then put it in the fridge, you're gonna see that this gets a lot more firm. That looks good, just like that. Bring that in, bring that off. And so we're ready now to just let this cool down. So I'm gonna let this sit here for probably 20 minutes and then I'm gonna put it into the fridge and I'll come back and I'm gonna show you this a few hours from now and show you how nice this is. And I will be using this really nice white chocolate eggnog ganache in another recipe for filled dark chocolates. That recipe will be at the end of this video. You can touch your screen and it'll, it'll t it will take you directly over to that video. And I'll also put a clickable link in the description box under this video. So here we are again. This is about two hours later. 
and this was in the fridge the whole time. I just brought this out about two minutes ago, and I want to show you how thick it has become, you know, versus what we started with when we put it into the fridge. So you can see that's really nice. So that there is perfect now to start filling chocolates. Mm, and that's what I'm going to be using in another video. Really amazing. And that aroma from the nutmeg smells really good. But there we go. I just wanted to show you the difference.